Ah. All right, that'll work better for you. Your crap fixture that that guy put in for you, man, it sucked. I mean, you had some bugs coming out of that. You know, it reminds me, a couple of days ago, I was working at this cush job for the government, right? So I'm going down there, you know, with my brother, you know, and we're, we're fixing the pipes underneath the city, right? And I see this pipe, this huge freaking pipe, right? And it's green. At first, I think it's copper, right? Because copper kind of gets wet, it becomes green. But no, it's not even painted green. It's just a big fucking green pipe. So I look at it. And I start to hear noises coming down, right? Now noises coming down the pipe. Huge crabs. Huge fucking crabs. And a firefly, like the size of a Pomeranian, right? Just coming right out. And they keep on coming. My brother, he's not here right now. Okay, yeah, he's at the truck. He's a chicken shit, right? So he takes off. He takes off and hides behind something, I don't know. So I'm thinking, okay, I gotta protect my brother, right? So I start jumping on these things. I start uppercutting them, right? Like I'm from some fucking video game, right? I think I've got all taken care of, right? Dusting off the bug goo. So I turn around to get my tools, okay? I lean down, I feel something squish on the back of my head, right? Feels kind of like my brains just popped out of the back of my head, right? And I'm worried. So I put my hand back there. I turn around. And there's my moron brother standing on top of a huge fucking turtle. I didn't see it come out of the pipe. And he jumped on it. I'm looking at this idiot. And I think to myself. He just saved my life. I can't believe it. He just saved my life. You know I didn't used to like my brother. No, I didn't like him at all, because he wasn't so sharp in the head, right? He's about as sharp as a sack of wet mice, right? I mean, like, when Mama died, and I had to take care of my brother, you know? I kind of resented it a little. I, I resented it a little. And then when Papa died a few weeks later, well, now I was the breadwinner, and I had to take care of my brother. And that wasn't easy. I mean, I had to quit college. I had to stop doing things that I liked to do for me. So I took odd jobs, you know? I worked in a cement factory, for example, right? And you know, I was even part of a wrecking crew, too. That was not a fun job. This guy in yellow always pissed me off. But my brother, he loved plumbing. And he took to it like a fish to water, man. He was good at it. He's really good, but he's not here, is he? Yeah, he's a good plumber, right? And so here I am standing with turtle goo on the back of my head, right? And I'm looking at this idiot looking back at me, freaked out of his mind. And I thought to myself, you know, sometimes people got to do things they don't want to do. Because it's the right thing to do. You got to give up something sometimes to help somebody else out, to help a fellow human being out. And that's what I did for my brother, you know. And I look at him. And I say, Luigi, and I put my hands on his shoulders and I look him in the eyes and I say, Luigi, my brother, you're a schmuck! Why the hell didn't you stay in the van? Oh my god, you could have been killed! That turtle had huge beak and it could have ripped off your foot! Get back in the van, you stupid mother! Son of a bitch! And I think he understood. Because... As I turned around to get my tools, I could have sworn that I heard him say, <laughs> I love you too, Mario. Hey, he's a good kid. <laughs> yeah. Not as smart like me. Yeah, no, he's about as smart as a pack of ice cubes, you know? Yeah, well, what you gonna do, right? Yeah, there you go. That'll fix you. That's a good fixture right there. Yeah. What's that? Well, it's not supposed to do that. What's the... A spider! <laughs> <laughs>